Daily Broadside, day 344. So yesterday, I caught the last six and a half rounds of the Fury-Logan uh, fight. So I'm watching it, and it was kind of a ho-hum experience. Kind of an amateur boxing match, quite frankly, for obvious reasons. But uh, I get to the end of it, you know, whatever. But I'm thinking about, I'm like, you know, what I hate about combative sports, MMA and boxing. And I, I like the sports, but you know what I hate about them? It's all the, the hype and the hoopla and everything surrounding the fight. It's because it's so fake and it dupes us every single freaking time. It's, you know, they'll be at the press conference or the weigh-in or whatever, and they'll be standing there just going in at each other, you know, just doing too much, you know, just doing all kinds of, you know, just tearing them down. You know, my man, when you when you wake up off the mat, your mama's going to be born brain dead, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a Chinese walk and a grandfather clock up your dad's ass, and your children are going to be born pissing blood, and, da, 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 da. and then the guy's like, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to, and they're just back and forth, right? And they're just trying to be, you know, the most alpha male they can be. And it's like, oh, cool, this is awesome, man. They hate each other. I can't wait for this fight. It's going to be great. Uh, you know, and then into the fight, one of them raises their hand, the other one doesn't. And they're over there hugging in the ring. And then after the match, it's like, you know, what what happened out there? He's like, I got to tell you, uh, he's a hell of a pugilist, a uh, hell of a man. I respect him more than my, my, my brother and my father. Uh, I respect him more than God. And, and I'm like, I'm over here like, no, you don't. You want to shove a grandfather clock up his ass or his dad's ass, maybe. Maybe both of them. I don't know. But it's like, come on, man. Quit quit pulling the wool over our eyes. Just hate each other for once. Just be true in your hate. You know, when you're in the ring, you got to hate them. Uh, you know, there's just part of fighting where you've got to have some disdain for, you know, their their downfall. But uh, when you get out, you know, I don't want this to be a heels and heroes in pro wrestling where they all like hate each other during the prime time event. And then they're at like a, a steakhouse that night all drinking together. You know, that's not cool. Uh, and don't ever get the chef's choice at the sushi bar. It's horrible. OK, uh, I, I don't believe in the chef's choice. I don't want to if I order one of them boats. I'm going to fill the boat, okay? My, the boat's going to be filled with my friends. I don't want your stupid California rolls and all that fake sushi put in there. I need stuff like squid and octopus and jalapenos, you know, jalapenos. Something that all Japanese people um, probably eat, uh, I guess. It is odd that they use jalapenos. But, uh, yeah, the chef's choice is just a way for the restaurant to cheapen out on what's real, okay? So don't ever order that. You know what's weird about horses? Lots of things, but mainly one of the things I noticed yesterday when I was watching a horse, uh, it's that, you know, they can go, I mean, those things can like trot at like eight, nine miles an hour, right? I mean, they can trot faster than humans can run full speed, I think, uh, you know, but they don't ever run yet. They're capable of running like 40, 45 miles an hour, man. When was the last time you saw a horse run that wasn't being beat by a person, you know, with a stick or a whip? or a prod or something, right? They don't just go for a leisurely run, you know? Uh, and it, it's, it's, it beats all I've ever seen. If I could go 45 miles an hour, I'd be just darting across. I'd be showing off for the farmers. They'd be like, look at that bastard just running across that field for no good reason. But instead, what do they do? They just join in with animals. Most animals are just like the most boring things on planet Earth. You know, if they're not actually actively killing something, animals are boring as can be. Uh, I don't I don't understand it. Um, yeah, they're just standing there eating, just eating. Just like a cow, just eating, uh, you know, I'd be showing off for the cows. I'd be like, watch this, you fat bastard, you know, and those cows would be over there like, ah, oh, look at him go. Because a cow's just a fat horse, you know. Uh, but yeah, and I'm, uh, I never got the opportunity when my kids were uh, in school to be an adult chaperone for a field trip. So I'm looking for the opportunity. So if anybody needs one, I'm your guy. Everything will be fine, I promise.